be a big buzz about Charlie Sheen kind of losing his mind. And it's like, no, the guy's acting perfectly normal. This is normal human behavior. What is the problem is so surely we're insane. <laughs> we are more crazy than Charlie Sheen is. First of all, you got to kind of understand what do you think it would do if you end up telling somebody you're, you know, you're worth more money doing a job while there's this much poverty in the world. I mean, would that not make your head make you think that you know exactly what's going on? Would that not make you think you're right no matter how wrong you are? Well, everybody that watches his TV show, all of these executives, you know, anybody that even thinks in, a, <laughs> in any way, shape, or form that you give somebody that level of money and think that they're amazing, no matter what they say they are amazing, don't you think they're going to come out and say, hey, I'm amazing? You pay me to be amazing. I am amazing. He's acting like perfectly normal to what society has created. Um, and if you listen to some of his rants, he's perfect. He's dead on. You know, he's saying that most of these AA and um, addiction type therapies work. He's saying that the statistics of how it works is next to nil. It's like 5% get cured. I've been watching some of these uh, um, clinics that say they can get you off drugs and all it's about is how to suppress, you know, get rid of uh, the drug that's pointing you, hey, something's wrong in your universe, universe, not necessarily you, but your universe, and it's so painful that you take a drug for it. and. Um, in a way, some of them are right. In a way, it's wrong. It's um, in order for you to heal from the pain, you have to recognize that society is wrong. And as long as you are playing a role in society, you are also wrong. Um, the sign of addiction means that you're just not on track with what you truly believe self is all about. And Charlie Sheen has definitely, you know, got these addictions that point to me that, hey, you are on the wrong track. Um, but it's more society that's on the wrong track because society is creating who he is. He's just got a lack of, of um, control in going against what all of society is saying. We turn into what people say. If you call somebody stupid long enough, they'll turn out to be stupid. You know, you, you tell somebody that you're worth more money than anybody else, and then they're going to think that they're worth money. No matter what they do, they're going to think they're worth more. They're going to think their value is so much better than yours. So it, you know, how crazy is society to be thinking that society is doing everything right and judging him to be doing everything wrong? You know, his addiction is only a sign of how wrong society is. He's just playing out what society wants. There's nothing wrong with him. You want to see a change in him, change your society. Stop paying him so much money. Chances are, if he doesn't have that much money, he wouldn't be able to afford all of those prostitutes and all of those drugs, you know. But he's a good example of why these elites and CEOs are also acting perfectly normal. I mean, we all worship anybody that has a lot of money. We all think that they're the smartest people in the room if they have the most money. But as we're starting to wake up, they're all kind of psychopaths. And who did it? us society and you know what we're doing as insane as society is we keep asking them for solutions it's like you know if you want hillary clinton to come up with a solution that's like asking charlie sheen to come up with a global solution you know it, it, it you want bill clinton to come up with a solution 
it's like asking Charlie Sheen for the solution. You know, Obama, you know, like there's another insane guy that we put these people, these elites, everybody that has all of this money, more than us, on this massive mountain and say, you are the best, we worship you, um, things are all wrong, we know you're the cause of everything that's wrong, but we want you to fix it. <laughs> and it's like, we are the creators of them. You know, <clears throat> you watch people that are complaining about the education system and yet you know the system is wrong but you want to protest that you have the right to get everything that's wrong you want to learn how to screw up a, a, a globe go get an education that's where you're learning how to do everything wrong that's where you're learning how to be one of these elites you know and if you're not then you're going to be the one that's going to work for them you know, give away all of your power. <clears throat> I think it's society is is got a lot more problems than uh, Charlie Sheen, and it's like shut your TVs off. You know, anybody that's paying anybody that much money for going in and just doing a job that's equal to a job that I would do every eight hours is like insane. And every time anybody watches any of these shows, where do you think the money's coming from but you watching it? So, you know, it's the same thing like with Oprah. Do you really truly think that uh, there's a woman that has a health problem that doesn't want to deal with her addictions, doesn't want to deal with her issues, has now paid doctors to label her with an illness that says, Oh, there's nothing you can do about it. Don't even bother trying. And think that that in some way she is, is living her best life. The woman thinks that because she owns the company, she owns the network now, um, that she could say anything that she wants, that nobody is in control of her. She is guided by self, that she has all of the answers and, you know, She's supportive of Obama, so you can kind of see something's a little messed up with her thinking. <coughs> but what is her problem? She's being controlled by a justice system. She's being controlled by every single corrupt entity that's on this planet because she once spoke up about beef, and they took her to court, and it traumatized her. She won the court case, but she has vocally said there she would avoid going into a court case you know that is not something that she's willing to go through ever ever again so those are her controllers is our justice system anybody that is doing anything wrong is willing to go to court so you can't report on them you can't have a network and actually say hey this is dead wrong we should be doing this or she'll never ever ever point out anything that's wrong because somebody might take her to court what do you think she'd do if, if oh, she went against Obama? You know, like, what do you think those elite people will say to her? She would be dissed. And, and being dissed is not something that she enjoys. Um, exp and it's being dissed with people that have money. She don't care about us small people that, that diss her. You know, that means nothing to her because we have no value from her perspective. You know, it's the people with all of the money. You don't diss the people that have all of the money. And the people that have all the money are acting exactly like Charlie Sheen. You know, they're acting perfectly normal and healthy considering how fucked up the globe is. And it's we the people. Like, that's what we need to wake up to is, you know, they are... Picture everything is just a table. Hillary Clinton came up with this one that I kind of like, you know. These elites... Charlie Sheen, Oprah Winfrey are like the tabletops. We are the legs. <laughs> we hold them up. We build them. We create them. We put them up there. <laughs> and then when they act a little crazy, we think it's all them. That something's wrong with them. And we're not looking at the legs that hold it all up. So who's more crazy? You know, the judges <laughs> or the victims of? 
Charlie Sheen is just a victim of society. You know, he's acting perfectly normal and healthy. And if anyone on this planet walked a mile in Charlie Sheen's shoes, you'd be acting and talking exactly like him. It's perfectly normal, healthy behavior. You want to see a change in his behavior? Change friggin' society. You know, don't make somebody worth more than another. Because as soon as you, as soon as you put value on somebody for you know putting out <laughs> a show no less about an alcoholic, I mean this guy was making all of his money off of being an alcoholic on a TV show and making it look like it's really really successful. You know what is he? He's a mus mus musician on the show that he plays, and you know so he's an artist, an alcoholic artist that is portrayed as being very very successful so in his real life being a successful artist there's something wrong with that a successful artist with an addiction there's something wrong with it can you not see the contradictions there it's like in the media world it's acceptable and will pay you a lot of money <laughs> but in real life it's not acceptable who the fuck is insane? You know, like, it is these producers of these shows. They are more insane than Charlie Sheen. And, and, and we'll pay them money because that game is still played out. You don't even see it. It's us. We are the ones that are insane. Not the guys at the top. <laughs> Just an observation. Peace out.